Welcome and God bless. Today is the 12th day in our Advent preparation for Christmas and, of course, the second coming of Jesus and prayer in our own life. And it is also the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, uh, December 8th. And I would like to read to you the definition that was given to us by Pope Pius IX on December 8th, 1854, which is simply a proclamation of what we have always believed about the Blessed Virgin Mary. In other words, the Church teaches that this is something that was revealed by God from the time of Jesus and the Apostles. <clears throat> Accordingly, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, for the honor of the Holy and Undivided Trinity, for the glory and adornment of the Virgin Mother of God, for the exaltation of the Catholic faith, and for the furtherance of the Catholic religion, by the authority of Jesus Christ our Lord, of the blessed Apostles Peter and Paul, and by our own. Okay, now this is the definition. We declare, pronounce, and define that the doctrine which holds that the most blessed Virgin Mary, in the first instance of her conception, by a singular grace and privilege granted by Almighty God, in view of the merits of Jesus Christ, the Savior of the human race, was preserved free from all stain of original sin, is a doctrine revealed by God, and therefore to be believed firmly and constantly by all the faithful. End of the uh, definition. Hence, if anyone shall dare, which God forbid, to think otherwise than as been defined by us, let him know and understand that he is condemned by his own judgment, that he has suffered shipwreck in the faith, that he has separated the unity from the unity of the church and that furthermore, by his own actions, he incurs the penalties established by law, if he should uh, express in words or writing or by any other outward means the error he thinks in his heart. And so uh, this is an incredible, wonderful solemnity, celebration in the church. And it is uh, one of the uh, only places except, of course, for our Lord, uh, where we celebrate the conception. We celebrate the conception of Mary because she is conceived without sin. And as the Church explains, the Church doesn't celebrate something that's not holy. And so for, by the very fact that we have this celebration within our liturgy points to the fact and to the truth that this is part of our deposit of faith, and this is what we believe as Catholics, that Mary was conceived without stain of original sin. And from the first moment of her existence, she was holy and full of grace. And so therefore, Mary is greater than all the saints, all the angels, and she is uh, closer to God, more holy, more pure, more beautiful, more full of grace than any other creature uh, that has ever been or ever will be. You know, in the Old Testament, when a man and an angel would meet, like Abraham and the three angels that come, uh, the man would always show respect and reverence to the angel, as you see with Abraham and any of the other patriarchs they showed respect and reverence uh, to the angel. But with the Blessed Virgin Mary, it is reversed. The Archangel Gabriel comes to Mary and he salutes her. He greets her first. He shows uh, reverence for her and for what God um, 
has done in her, is doing in her, is full of grace. So Gabriel sees God's grace in Mary, and he says, Hail, full of grace. So she's a wonderful mother, and I would encourage all of you to consecrate yourself to the Immaculate Heart of Mary and to have a devotion to Our Lady. At the very least, pray a Hail Mary in the morning and the evening, but better yet, pray the Rosary. It's a beautiful prayer. The Lord be with you. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain, by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you, and remember, God loves you, and so does Mary.